In the 80s, there were some 10,000 machines in New York City. Um, in currently, I think there's about 85. And I just envisioned the sport more of a, a team sport. You know, I, I kind of thought that would be a better way to lure people in and get, introduce them to the game and get them excited about the game because it's just more of a social event than it is an individual event. And um, part of my motives is that I wanted to help repopularize the game. I mean, uh, whether I do that or not is yet to be seen. But male or female, if I introduce them to the game, they, they love it. They, we have fun with it. You know, if you don't play pinball, you just think of it as that, you know, that geeky game that, you know, you know the guys play in the corner there. Um, so, but that's not, that's just not the whole story. It is pretty, pretty wonderful to watch somebody who's really great at pinball play. They, they you know, they're, there are people out there that are really amazing, and they just hit the shots that they want to hit when they want to hit them. I think there's something very throwback about it, but there's something great about hunking over this giant machine that's got this actual steel ball that's being knocked around and ricocheted, and lights are going on all over the place, and and you know, and you're pushing it to try to make it to do do the things you want it to do. And the league forces you to go and experience these other machines because you have to go on the road and and, and compete on these machines, and. Sometimes they're in areas that you don't normally hang out, but it, so what? It's Monday night, you gotta go play pinball.